So I've had a lot of people ask me how I got the Archeon on land. Now it's a really simple process, it's a bit like the same way of getting dinosaurs into aviaries or if you want to spawn a whole mass of uh, aviary creatures out on land, it's a similar sort of like principle. So what we're going to need to do is have a lagoon hatchery as well as a land hatchery. I'm just going to connect them up here, make it dead quick. So what we're going to do is if you click on the land hatchery, go to it and then go to filters scroll down to new and click that it'll show that there's no creatures found there which is what we want then we go to the lagoon hatchery i'm just going to do a little edit change some colors to the desirable effect i want and then what i'm not going to do is not click it just keep hovering over it and go back to the land hatchery once we've clicked on there you should see on the side that archelon is right there and all i have to do is click a them on xbox and whatever the button is for you just click that and it will start the process of making them go into the hatchery now at this point what will happen is that it will when you click to release it say it's been blocked by land dinosaurs so just go away go and do something you want to go and do whilst uh, it's having this little moment but eventually it will release them so i'm just going to mess around in the corner here and just make a little landscape or some waiting so I probably spent like only a couple, like maybe a minute to two minutes making that. And then I found out that it has been sorted. So all you do is delete the hatchery at this point. And yes, they are there. They're just sort of under the ground. If I just do this to reveal them and where do you ever to? Uh, just do a bit more. Ah, there we go. So yeah, if I do this to the ground, you should have all four here. And I do it this way, so there's definitely one right at the top, so I don't have to do that much digging to find them. And usually I just have one in the photos. You see where I've got more than one? It's usually because I've let them starve to death, unfortunately. And then they appear on land at that point and then add it to be a bit easy. Now, what you've got to do as well for those photo shoots is just pause it at the right time. Once you've paused it, you can sort of make your landscape around it to how you want your screenshot to look, because obviously, if you uh, leave it where it's not paused and you actually have it as an in-game mechanic it's just there flapping around on the land sort of weird kind of look but obviously if you want those like beach shot photos of Archelon you can do this and I think there's a modern PC where you can drag the dinosaurs around so you could even have like a T-Rex giving it a sniff if you wanted but on Xbox I'd have to sort of wait till a T-Rex comes and sort of wanders over and hope I pause everything at the right time and uh, yeah as well you can also have it so it's in the water and as you see it still makes the splashing emotion in the water so obviously if you want that kind of like small video but obviously it's not going to move back four sideways or anything like that it's going to stay there on the spot but still you can make some sort of interesting photography from this and i hope this has been useful